guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are taking on Pure Saiyan's Extreme Super Battle Road. Uh, on Global, we do not have Super Vegeta yet, so this is one of the disadvantages we have. However, uh, you can make some pretty busted Pure Saiyan's teams without them, so I'm going to try this, uh, basically this UI Goku style team here, where I'm just flooding it with a bunch of UI Gokus that can dodge. Um, I'm going to try the... Super Saiyan 4, Goku, and Vegeta rotation because they're really busted and can deal out a lot of damage. And then I've got uh, the Inn Vegeta just chilling there as well. Now, I had contemplated doing this build a little bit differently, and I do think there's some other options you can use. Um, I thought about just focusing more on the UI Goku rotations and then actually bringing support units like physical UI and maybe even in Kale. But I figured in Super Battle Road, like, it's all about just killing them quick. So I'm going to just bring this pure power team with no support. Every unit can deal damage. I'm going to bring the Zeno support memory. Uh, let's just see what happens. Um, I'm not going to go for like a no item run or anything crazy. but And there's going to be a little RNG involved in a run like this. Because you are banking on some dodges and things like that. We don't really have any stunning and sealing on our team. Uh, we did end up with a nice Super Saiyan 4 rotation right away though. So I am going to try to keep them together. And... To be safe, I think I'm just going to do a Whis and just see what happens turn one with a Whis here. How much damage we take with a Whis. Uh, I have a feeling it'll still be a lot. I have a feeling they're going to hit really, really hard in here. Uh, Vegeta is going to attack Goten. We'll have Goku attack Trunks. Now, keep in mind, the Super Saiyan 4s, they can dodge super attacks. It's not something I, I would say you want to count on. You don't want to bank on that. But it is something they have in their back pocket, right? So let's see what happens here. Okay, 24k normals with a Whis. But... The Super Saiyan 4s get a lot better defensively after they super, and they're dealing all big attack stats, so my hope is, yeah, look at this, double super for Vegeta here. Hoping to just take them out nice and quick. I know it's kind of odd putting the Super Saiyan 4s around all these Universe Survival Saga units, but as long as you have them on rotation, they're still doing just fine. 6.4 from this Goku. Still very, very good units, these Super Saiyan 4s. Got the double super on both of them. Getting defense stacks. They're going to be really good here. Yeah. Trunks got taken out. Okay. Um, Goku's not going to do the craziest amount of damage here on the end. We got type disadvantage. We're going to need some crits. Um, I will take a couple of dodges here on the end just to build his passive a little bit. Although, I don't think he's getting another turn anyway. So, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we'll take the dodges. Uh, we still have Whis active. We have a UI Goku rotation. So, I think there's really no reason why we can't just attack through here. Uh, so, we'll go ahead like that. Um, I'm going to trust my Agile UI to dodge, and we've got Whis in case he doesn't, right? So, uh, yeah, first turn down, pretty <laughs> pretty easy. All right, let's see. Give me a dodge. Okay, yep, that's what UI Goku does. Give me the dodge, yep. Almost dodged our way up to an 18 key super. Uh, he gets one key per dodge, so yeah, we almost dodged our way up. Because the key wasn't good for us that turn, but uh, let's see. All right, yep. And then the three, yeah, I mean... It did help. I mean, I did get lucky with RNG here, guys, because my Super Saiyan 4 is both getting additionals and then getting all these other additionals. Like, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> first round, I guess we're feeling a little overpowered here. <laughs> I mean, if you got the units, you got. why not, right? Just just do it <laughs> if you got the units. The other thing you can do, um, well, it doesn't work as great on this run. Yeah, I was going to say you could maybe get away with doing some type of U6 build with, like, Pure Saiyan Girls and then running, like, a couple of Tech Khalifas because she does... She basically gets 100% dodge, even if it's not Universe Survival Saga or Pure Saiyan, if she's on the right team. So, I mean, you could maybe do some Tech Khalifa cheese on here as well. All right, we're going to try to keep our Super Saiyan Force together. Um, yeah, I feel like we're just going to incinerate here. Uh, I haven't used any Ghost Dusters yet, so let's just use one. And let's just see if we can't just maybe, I don't know, take... Let's, let's just throw everybody at Gohan and just see if we can take Gohan out. Let's just see if we can take Gohan out. Uh, with only two enemies, they should be a little bit tankier, but, I mean, we're hitting really hard, right? So that's the strategy here is just every unit hits hard. Um, not worrying about support. Just because the supports aren't going to hit as hard, they're going to make our big units hit a little bit harder, but I don't know if we're just bringing consistent damage. Like, if UI Goku gets a couple of crits here, we might be able to take Gohan out. That would be huge. No, he didn't get any crits. He didn't get any additionals. Okay. Um, all right. Well, let's do Strength UI in the front because I want to get him some stacks. I'm actually going to have him attack Go Tanks uh, because UI Goku isn't going to be very effective against him. And then UI Goku then can go after Gohan. 
And then let's try Nurse Chi Chi this time. We'll just uh, spread the item usage around here. Massively lower their attack and defense out. Um, and then Int UI definitely going after Gotenks with the type advantage. All right, let's see. All right, give me a dodge. That's what you do, UI Goku. You dodge. Yep. Good, good. Yeah. Oh, so good. So good. That's why the UI Gokus are going to age well. Just that, that starter turn dodge. Units you can put in slot 1 in Super Battle Road are so, so beneficial. They're so good. They're such a gift to have in your box, right? Just a very good thing to have. All right, this Gotenks looking tanky. Give me dodge. Yep, 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 yep. That's what UI Goku does. He dodges. Those super attacks, like, on normal units that aren't dodging, if you don't have items, like, you're probably wiped out, right? So we honestly aren't even getting a good gauge of how much damage they can do. Because, one, we've used Ghost Ushers, I think, in a good spot. And <laughs> we're just dodging so much. We're not even, like, seeing damage, right? All right, so Gohan, we got him out of here. Now we just have to worry about this Go Tanks. It's unfortunate because we've got a couple of AGL units floating around, so we just have to make sure we get some crits with them. All right, that was a good hit. Yes, the additional from UI Goku, very good here. Don't forget, if we actually do happen to take some damage, we have Int UI's transformation in our back pocket, which will make him a dodge machine and will heal as well. So just so many good, powerful options here. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't need items here. The Super Saiyan 4s are taking them out for sure. And if not, I'm going to trust Super Saiyan 4 Goku to have enough defense and possible dodge chance to get us by anyways. If Vegeta crits, we're for sure... Yeah, there's no chance. No chance for Gotenks. Goku's taking them all probably right here. If not, Goku might give us an additional, but I think this should be it. Yeah, he's gone. Okay. So, two out of the three done. Very smooth and easy. You know, I did my, did my ridiculously hard movie bosses run first. So now I'm like, let's coast. Let's do a couple of easy ones. Give myself a little bit of a break here. All right, so, yeah, we got the Zeno. Um, really no reason to be shy here, so, I mean, this is like a full dodge turn, so, I don't know. Let's let's do Nurse Chi-Chi, just to give us, like, more damage by lowering their defense, and then we'll just let them kind of dodge away here, because then I can save the Ghost Usher potentially for next turn, um, in case I'm worried about any trouble there, right? Um, sure, let's just go after Vegeta Jr. Why not? I know I could have probably done more damage with Strength UI in the front, but I want to be linked up with everyone, so I'm going to put him in the middle here. Ooh, no dodge. Okay, then we got a dodge there, though. Okay. I mean, it can happen. It's like a 30% chance they'll get hit, right? <laughs> yeah, very free and easy. I mean, nothing too bad here. I... <laughs> Right before this, I recorded my Universal Survival Saga run, and boy, was that a joke. <laughs> With uh, two tech hits and an LR God Goku and hit running around, and I threw a couple of tech Khalifas for Dodge City, although they didn't really get to show off very much in the video. We took out the rotations way too quick. Um, but I do think double double tech Khalifa is a good strategy in events where you can use her. Definitely utilize that. Okay, we're actually taking a hit here. This is with Nurse Chi Chi, though, so I still don't think we're going to take... Yeah, double digits. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. All right. We actually got tagged for a super. I mean, that can happen, right? That's why we... Like I said, I'm not going for a no-item run, but I do think this team is quite capable of getting the no-item run done here. Um, I'll save challenge runs for later. Like, if I need content later on and I don't have stuff to do, I might do some challenge runs on these, but... My first time through, I just like to get them done, right? I like the, the path of least resistance is what I like to do. It's the same thing with my Opera Omnia videos. Um, you'll see when I do my Lufenia Plus videos, for those of you that play Opera Omnia, um, I'm not doing like crazy team builds or challenge runs. I'm literally like meta stomping. Like I'll run Synergy, I'll run Reigns Aphmo, I'll do all that stuff. I don't care. I just want to get it done easy. <laughs> That's my style here. Okay. Um, sure. Let's just go Susher. We'll just play it uber safe here. Um... And yeah, we'll just cross through and this... Sh I think he might survive this turn just because I think he's fairly tanky. But I don't know. These Super Saiyan 4s hit pretty darn hard. Yeah, I mean, they're consistently in like that 6 mil attack range. 5 to 7 mil. Like very free and easy. Yeah, and then Vegeta's at 5. Give me a crit maybe? Oh, no crits, but... Alright, the additional helps for sure. Alright, yeah, I think, I think uh, Goku Jr. is going to survive here. Got very unlucky with the crits. Give me some crits from this UI Goku, perhaps. Um, by the way, guys, if you just need help with team building for this, I mean, some of these runs are incredibly hard, right? Um, sure, let's do it like this. 
Let's Whis. We'll just play it super ultra safe here. Um, nothing too crazy. We'll do that. Um, but yeah, if you guys are looking for help on these runs, you need help with team building, I have a Discord. I post it in all of my video descriptions. Um, and we do have a team building channel under. Whoa, wow. That was sick. Okay, we got a little taste there, guys. We got a little taste. 60k normal with a Whis on. So yeah, they, they hit hard. <laughs> we just, like I said, haven't really gotten to see it too much. Okay. Um, but yeah, we do a team building channel um, on my Discord. So if you guys are interested and just want some help with the game, like chatting about the game, Feel free to join my Discord. We're pretty pretty fun over there. So, All right. Well, I think we're about to finish this one up. The other thing, too, guys, to keep in mind is when you're finishing these ESBR runs, you are getting EX equips, uh, equip orbs, which are very, very good. Ah, darn it. I forgot to put Do Not Disturb on and one notification snuck in there right at the end. I thought I was going to sneak through without it. Uh, yeah, guys, I know I'm bad about doing the Do Not Disturb. I'm getting better. I, I do have some videos where the notifications sneak in, but we... We, we almost skated by there where I forgot to put it on. So anyways, guys, uh, let me know how your runs are going. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.